The finals of the men's 60 meter hurdles. The world indoor record is 746, set by Greg Foster here in Indianapolis two days ago. And we have a great field for you, including the top three hurdlers in the world last year. In lane one from Spain is Javier Maracho. In lane two from Finland is Arto Brigger, the 1987 European indoor champion. In lane three is Tony Campbell of the United States 1985 World Cup champion. In lane four is Mark McCoy of Canada, the former world record holder until Friday. In lane five, the great Greg Foster, now the world record holder with it, 746 here. In lane six, the youngster, 19-year-old Colin Jackson of Great Britain, the world junior champion. In lane seven from France, and in 1985, the World Games champion in Paris. That was the preliminary for this event, Stefan Karastan. And in lane eight is Nigel Walker of Great Britain, who was third in the European Indoor Championship. Different on the other two. Greg Foster has his technique down. If he doesn't make any mistakes, he'll definitely win the race. He said in the semifinal heat where he set the world record that he made two minor mistakes, one up at the first hurdle, one on the last. Maybe if he makes just one mistake, we'll see another world record. Foster at lane five. And it is McCoy. McCoy has the great start. McCoy is out in front. McCoy goes down, Foster goes down, and Tony Campbell wins it. And in addition, I thought Maracho with a false start in lane one. But it was not called. I think Greg Foster has cramped up again. In the Milrose games a couple of weeks ago, we saw that he cramped, and I think it was that same left leg. He's moving, and he's in pain. And I don't think he's in pain from the fall. I think it's more that he cramped up and had to start stop running, and then he ran right into Tony Campbell, or Mark McCoy, I'm sorry. Foster with that cramping problem at the TAC Championship a week ago. And Larry Ross is down there. Larry? Okay, Mark, what happened? We just collided. You, he hit you. He seemed to run into problems with the hurdles first, right? I just felt him hit my back arm. And You're okay? You're down. Yeah, I'm all right. Greg's down the ground. Thanks. So the collision between Greg Foster and Mark McCoy. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, Larry. We can hear you. And okay. Greg has a cut on the back of his left thigh. It's quite pronounced. It's about six inches long. Oh Running up the back. He's taking the skin off. He's actually cut. As you can see, the, the cut is, extends up into his left buttocks. It didn't seem to me, though, Larry, that that's what caused him to go down. It's more like he went down, and in the tumble, he was, he was cut. He went down for a different reason. Did this, you see anything? I didn't, but this may have been caused, I'm guessing in this, Frank, by the edge of the hurdle, the way the circular motion is, and he really powered through a couple of hurdles. And, and I think the tumble, and I have not seen the replay, I think that's what caused him to take down Mark McCoy. Here's another look. McCoy with the great start. Can I just ask him? Can I ask him? We're still clean. Now, oh, uh, oh Foster. there was a collapse. Foster's leg just collapsed out from underneath, and then he goes down and probably right there cuts his leg on the edge of the hurdle. And Great did he reach happen. out with his right left arm and hit McCoy? Is that when he stumbled, he reached out just like for a balance? We'll take a look at it from head on. Meanwhile, Tony Campbell out in front. He wins the gold medal. Greg Foster on the left. No one seemed to have any trouble, although... Mark McCoy was out ahead, but he's over drifting over in his lane. Foster drifts over to him. It was, I think that was coincidence. They're running. Foster was actually out of his lane, then his leg collapsed, and then they ran into each other. Now let's go down to Larry again. Thank you, Charlie. Greg, you don't know what happened. You just hit a hurdle? I have no idea. Thank you. From the replay, he hits the second hurdle. That throws him off balance. He gets too far to his left into the lane of uh, Mark McCoy. Never, never came back, and uh, I don't know if he picked up a cramp along the way also, or he was just stumbling, reached out for balance, and, uh, and then the collision, and uh, they both went down uh, along with the hurdles. Now, that took place before we went on the air. 
And we are now live. And now let's go down to Larry Russell. Thank you, Charlie. I spoke with Dr. John Russell, who told me he had examined Greg. He said he has abrasion. He was cut. It looks like it might have been a spike wound, but he's fine. There appears to be no pulled muscles. He's having the leg ice right now. Back upstairs. Here are the official results. Tony Campbell is the winner in extra time, 7.51. Stefan Karaskan finishing second. And then it is Nigel Walker third. And Jackson finishes fourth. And that is the story of the men's 60-meter hurdles. Down on the floor, Dwight Stone, Frank Shorter, Missy Kane. I'm Charlie Jones. Missy, we've had excitement already today. Well, we've had some unfortunate things happen today, but just like yesterday, some things happened, unfortunately, at the first part, but then it got great. Today, we had the women's 1,500 meters, one of the premier events in indoor track and field, and Samalenko for the Soviet Union is going to try to get her second gold at this meet. Frank Shorter. And Greg Foster. Greg Foster's technique failed him. Either his leg or his technique failed him. He drifted out of his lane and took everybody else down with him within reach. And when he hit one of the early hurdles, that threw him off stride. His momentum carried him to a left. He, he couldn't bring his momentum back to straight away. We'll be back with more of the indoor championships in just a moment. Maybe that was the problem as we go back to the men's 60-meter hurdles. Greg Foster got behind maybe the track too fast as he tried to catch up, and that caused a problem. We'll take another look as Foster hits the second hurdle right here, and this throws him off. And now he is trailing. He's behind in the race here, so he is pressing. Now, he take, when he goes down, he takes Mark McCoy with him. McCoy's from Canada. Canada has filed a protest in the men's 60-meter hurdle. And that, of course, all happened just before we went on the air. 